drink a tea out of my Nespresso cup. It has been a while. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. <coughs> Gosh. You might notice a new background and that's because I moved to Manchester in November, so about two months ago, because I'm currently taking a gap year, which actually brings me to the topic of this video. So I posted a Q&A box on my Instagram story. Um, I just wanted to like see if you guys had any questions about my gap year or gap years in general. And it turns out you guys do. I literally got so many questions. I was like, all right, let me sit down and film a video. So I've written down the most popular questions and I'm going to try and answer them as best I can. Okay, first question is what is a gap year? So a gap year is basically when you take like a break, which typically lasts a year between the end of school and the start of university. These can sometimes be prolonged to two years. I don't know if you can do three years, but I know they can be two years long. In my case, I'm currently taking a gap year of just one year. However, who knows how I feel in September, I might choose to take another gap year. I'm still really unsure. Okay, this brings me on to my next question, which is why did I choose to take a gap year? By the way, if you see me looking down and reading off my computer. So there are several reasons, but I'm gonna categorize it into two. First reason being that I've never enjoyed school. I did all of my education, all of my schooling in France, and I just didn't enjoy the way of learning, the way of teaching, it just wasn't for me. And so I kind of always knew straight off the bat that I wanted to take a gap year. I just wanted to experience what it was like not being in a classroom, not studying 24 seven. The sun has decided to come out. Right, I hope this doesn't mess up the lighting too much. Now, the second reason is because I wanted to pursue some Social media so I started my social media accounts at the start of lockdown in 2020 and like over the past two years I've built up my account and my TikTok being my biggest platform and I knew that if I went to university I wouldn't have the same time I had before to invest in like creating content and the thought of having to give that up kind of steered me away okay so this brings me on to my next question which is also my most asked one which is how do I finance it and how do I afford to support myself financially? So in short, social media is my full-time job. I'm a full-time content creator. Extremely grateful and lucky to be in a position where I can do something that I love and have that be my job. A lot of you guys have also asked me how much money do you need to save to take a gap year? And I can't give an answer because it's so personal and it depends on a lot of different factors. So for example, if you're gonna spend your year working, then obviously I would say you practically don't need anything. You don't need any savings if you're just gonna live at your parents' house and work all year. Some people decide to take a gap year to travel and in that case, yes, you might need some money. And I mean, some people also take a gap year to just stay at home and enjoy some freedom and some peace and in that case as well you might not need a lot okay this is a funny one but a lot of people have asked how do my parents react when i first told them that i wanted to take a gap year it's actually a funny story because i was invited to go to the Cannes film festival in may with nespresso and after that i finished i had a massive facetime call with my whole entire family so my parents were on it i was on it my siblings my grandparents my aunts and uncles and everyone was basically asking me you know like what's your plan in September, what's your plan after school? Which university are you going to? Just tell us how you're feeling. And I told them, you know, I want to take a gap year, but I'm afraid. We all kind of discussed it together and everyone was like, bro, just take the gap year. If you're thinking about it, it's that it's meant to happen and university can wait. Taking a gap year isn't going to affect anything. And it's actually from that conversation that I decided to officially take a gap year. <laughs> All right, next one is, do you feel lonely and did your friends take a gap year? So actually feeling lonely and like lost was one of my biggest concerns and something that originally stopped me from fully committing. And no, none of my friends took a gap year, which made it even more scary because I didn't have anyone to relate to. I meant to say even scarier. But I think one of my biggest worries was actually feeling left behind. And that's actually one of the reasons why I decided to move abroad and move to the UK because I didn't want to like stay in my old home and see everyone else move out and move on and feel like they'd left me so yeah that being said though freshers week was kind of bad for me i had major fomo because obviously it's a week where you're just partying and drinking and making friends and i felt really left out because at that point i was still living in my parents home and yeah that was not a fun time next question is do you feel like you're wasting your time and that you sometimes feel lazy i would say yes and no because the first two months um were kind of bad i was a bit depressed i think the only way to avoid feeling lazy and unproductive is to like actively plan out your days so every single day sit down for like 10 15 minutes and plan out what you want to do what your goals for that day and that will just help you get a lot of like mental clarity. I think you'd be surprised at how much goes on behind the scenes with content creation, because obviously there's the whole like making of a video and making the video, editing it, all that. 
but there's so much to do with like admin and invoices and email and back and forth with brands. So I guess in that way, my days are really quite busy. Next question is kind of funny because this was also one of my concerns going into my gap year and it's is it hard to go back to school after a gap year so once again one of the reasons why i really hesitated before taking this gap year was because i kind of knew that once i had experienced the freedom and experienced what it was like to not study anymore and be completely free i was afraid that you know i'd never want to go back to university or go back to learning and i can confirm that that's true now the thought of going back to study in I'm also loving my gap year, which is also one of the reasons why, for me at the minute, currently, I don't want to go back to university in September. I've somehow lost the footage to this, but I was answering the question, do I recommend taking a gap year? And to cut it short, yes! If you're thinking of it, and if you want to do it, do it. Like, what have you got to lose? University can wait. So if you decide to go to university in a year or two years, it won't change anything. Okay, so the last question is, what do I plan on doing with the rest of my gap year? So I have around six, seven months left of my gap year. Actually, no, I have nine months. I have nine months left of my gap year and my plans for this year are to travel as much as possible. I have a whole bucket list of countries I wanna visit. However, the problem I'm kind of facing is I have no one to go travel with because my boyfriend's a full-time uni student, my brother's a full-time uni student, and obviously all of my friends are also full-time uni students. So I'm not quite sure how I feel about traveling alone yet, but we'll see. And the last thing would be, be spontaneous. I'm not very good at that and I really want to improve that. My tea is practically finished and that is the end of all the questions I'll be answering today. You guys have asked a lot more, so if you want to see a part two, I answer some more questions or go into more depth on some other ones then let me know and I'll do that. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it helped some of you decide or get a little insight on what it's like to take a gap year. Have a nice, have a nice, I don't know, bye.